that style. But then when you conquer that style and you get it, then you say, that's nothing. Watch this. Partly because of a breakdance cameo in Paramount's flash dance, street dancing has become a hot trend. This exposure allows some groups to cash in on their talents by basically four different styles of dancing. There's popping, locking, punking, and breaking. Popping is basically a constant tightening of the muscles, okay, to the beat of the music. Locking style, another form of dance, has to do with a lot of extension. Another street style king means to dance, to challenge, to confront another dancer. But it also means another style of dance, which New York has made popular, which is the ground moves. I've seen a lot of ex-gang members become uh, street dancers because they're tired of, of busting heads all the time. When I get in front of people and dance or up on the stage, I feel like, you know, like I'm not myself anymore. I just become something else, like I'm like I'm an animated cartoon. When I heard that music, I'm just telling me, do it, do it, do it. So something gets in my body, you know, I get wild when I hear music. <laughs> One favorite breaking spot is on Hollywood Boulevard near Highland, where breakers regularly get together to match their styles. It's like being in a fight because you have to show what you have and you have a little bit of time to show it or else you get boring. The way the winner is decided in a breaking circle is by crowd approval because you know when you get in the crowd going this guy must be doing something hot. Or the other group definitely says, oh, your style's harder. I always like to have a real strong competition because it causes me to want to perform better. And if I win, it makes it feel a lot better. And it, it, it's a lot of confidence. It, it, if you can beat these people, confidence, you get confidence. That's what you're winning.